What is up guys, Dylan Ryan here bringing you another episode of Dylan's Adventure Craft. Hope you guys are having a montastic day. I'm having a great day today. Um, I've actually been doing a lot on our Let's Play world for the past like four, five, six hours, something like that. I kind of lost count. Um, but before we get into that, go ahead and show you what we did in the last episode. So we did just do these down here, but as you can see, I've done a little bit more than that. I went ahead and finished doing all of it, kind of changed up the color here. We did have this light gray on both of these, but I changed it to dark gray on the corners and in the middle, and then left light gray on the sides here. Um, and then I did a border. So we're kind of doing the same thing. We just got the honey blocks with the uh, glowstone behind it, the gray concrete and orange concrete. And I think it looks pretty cool. Um, if you if you miss the stream that we did on Saturday, we also did this side. So now we have two sides going, which is awesome. We've got pretty much 50% of the base, um, not counting diagonals, done. So that is absolutely awesome. Um, if you uh, if you're not coming out for the streams, I do stream on Twitch on Tuesdays and Saturdays. So come out and check those out. I do put up a video on YouTube um for before i do those streams so go check those out but anyway um i'm gonna go ahead and show you some cut clips of the stuff that i've been doing today we are actually clearing out an area to do a industrial park um industrial farm whatever you want to call it something like that what whatever whatever you think sounds better um but we have an area over here that we've got to get to really quick um we should have a portal that comes up fairly soon here. Um, I can't remember the exact coordinates. Uh, should be around here-ish over here. Oh, no, sorry. This way. This way. <laughs> there it is right there. So we are doing an industrial park, industrial farm. We will put a bunch of different farms in this area. And I've cleared out a huge area of land. And I'm going to go ahead and show you before I show you the cut clips. But... We got a lot done. Um, as you can see, we've got a whole 128 by 128 cleared out to level 68 here. So our floor will be um, level 69. <laughs> but yeah, so we are at level 68 right there. Um, and we'll bring it up to the level of that concrete there. And we're going to cover this whole thing in black concrete. So that's another thing that I've been doing. I went and got a bunch of sand and gravel and also squid ink sacks from our squid farm. So that is absolutely awesome. So we got all the gravel over here, all the sand over here, and then the little bit extra that we need with the black dye. So I'm going to go ahead and change this into black uh, concrete powder and then we're going to cover the whole area here in black concrete powder. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed those cut clips there. It did take, like I said, five, six hours, something along those lines. It, it took forever. I just watched some uh, streams on YouTube and stuff while I did it, um, and it made it go by a little bit faster. But that is a big area to clear out. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. But I did get all of the concrete changed, or all of the sand and gravel changed to the black concrete powder here. Um, it will go to actual black concrete, um, but I kind of figured that it would make, I don't know, make more sense instead of just 
putting all of this uh, in an offhand and just breaking it, placing, breaking it, placing it at some water. If I just put down all of the powder, since it's not going to be affected by gravity, and take like a bucket of water and just run it over top of them, I think that will be best. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and fill in this whole area with this black concrete powder. So uh, I'll probably do that as a cut clip too. Um, and once that is done, it'll probably take me multiple hours, but it'll only take probably 30, 45 seconds for you guys. But um, once that's done, we'll come back and we'll actually work on a farm that we're going to build in today's video. Well, after 10 hours of starting this video and not even really getting that far into the video, we have already made a huge parking lot. <laughs> oh my God. We have made a massive parking lot. So we're with this build, we're going for an industrial build, right? This is an industrial, um, not part, but um, farm area, okay? So I'm kind of liking keeping it like this instead of putting it as the black concrete. Um, so I think we're going to leave it like this. If any water spills on it, then we will change it out. But here is the shulker box of items that we need to build the farm that we're going to build today, which you probably already know because you probably saw it in the thumbnail, even though I haven't made the thumbnail yet. Um, but so we, uh, we've got a good bit of items here right here um but i need to get some more bricks so the only way that i know to get more bricks is by going through the nether and heading over to our village farm or village trading area whatever you want to call it and i'm pretty sure that that is in this direction so we're going to fly over here really quick um and see if we can't get a bunch of bricks and then we'll uh, come back and, um, actually I think it's this way, <laughs> this way, yes, this way. Um, then we'll come back and uh, start working on the cactus farm, which is what we're going to be building today. Going to the village trading uh, hall over there was pretty successful. We got a good bit of bricks now, um, and I guess I can also change some of these. Um, it's really not going to make much of a difference, but that's fine. So, <clears throat> um, let's go ahead and grab some iron bars, and we're going to need some sand. So, I have tried about six different designs, and this seems to be the only one, um, or this seems to be the best one, I should say, for what we're going to do. Um, I want to build this out just a little bit because we're going to have a wall there. So let's build it out. Let's see, the wall will be here. Then we'll have three spaces, I guess. So four spaces altogether. Okay, that sounds good. But yeah, so out of the six designs that I did, some were more intricate than others. Um, it just seems like this is the best design for that or for the cactus farm. So um, we want to be two away from the wall. So starting here. And we want to have the uh, iron bars off the ground by one so I need to grab some scaffolding because it's going to get kind of aggravating it's a lot easier to do in a creative world when you're designing but when you're doing it in survival it's a little more irritating obviously you can't fly and stuff like that um, so we can use scaffolding blocks instead so we're going to have the iron bars and iron bars going to hold up the block of sand which is going to be very difficult. There we go. Um, and then this block will be removed. So the water will flow right underneath that. Now we're going to make this, uh, let's see, we're going to have one space here. And let's actually do it this way. Let's do iron bar and we'll have one there. So that'll be our first space. And then we'll have another space just like that. And then another one and one more. So this is going to be, one level will be 
20 blocks and the little bit level will be 25 blocks so we'll do the 25 first just because i think that looks better doing it in my creative world there so um what i'm gonna do is just place all of these one apart from each other do a five by five and place the sand on top of those and then we can uh either put in the cactus in a little bit which we'll probably will do um and then we can start working on putting the um sand on top and moving up a level there we go so we almost have it all done actually i missed one here so we'll place that guy down there we go so that is our five by five right there so now we need to build up and go to the next level here so let's see let's find the center here and let's put our scaffolding in and now what we need to do is we need to come up one block because that's where the cactus will be. And then right at the cactus, we need to place down some iron bars. We'll break this one and it will fall down. That's fine. Pick that up and we'll have the iron bars like that. So they will be right next to these. And then we will have sand that goes on top of these. So whenever the cactus, so the cactus will be here, whenever it grows up, this block here will make it break and then it will be able to fall down. And that's how you can kind of stack it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Obviously this one will only be a four by five. Um, so we will have to do that accordingly here. Let's see, can I do that? Perfect, okay, so yeah. So now I've just gotta go around and do that to all of the in-between blocks here. So we'll have one there, one at that one, and then we'll just fill the row down. So it'll be four wide, but it'll be uh, five long. So I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these in, and then we'll come back. All right, there we go. So we got that one in, as you can see, it is four wide and five long so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna go ahead and build this up i'm gonna do another five on top of this four here well let me do it this way so it makes more sense i'm gonna do another five on top of this four and then i'm gonna do another four on top of that five and um let's see so one two three four five yes yeah, so i'm gonna do three more levels here and you can make this as tall as you want, really. Obviously, you can only go so high in the sky there. <laughs> Didn't mean to make that rhyme, but it did. So, um, yeah, but I'm going to do a five tall. That's where we're going to stay because I think that'll be plenty enough. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll put in all of the cactus. And then we'll start working on the collection system. That's not as bad as it seems to be. It is actually pretty easy. It's really not that bad, but we do have it built up all the way to where we want it. So now what we have to do is we've got to take some cactuses. Obviously, I think I have enough here. But yeah, obviously we got to put in our cactuses. So um, this is the little bit more difficult part. You can do this as you go if you want to. Um, I just don't like to because you can, it like when you're placing in the iron bars and you put them in a line, if you break the one that's right here, it could hit the cactus and it could destroy it. And then you're going to have to go back and get more or waste iron or whatever. So that's the reason that I don't put in the cactuses um, until last. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to just go through this whole thing using the scaffolding and putting in as much cactus or cactus I however you want to say it, as I can. Um, and then, once we get done with that, we can uh, come back through and put in, I think I'm going to do the, the border for this. So we're going to have this come up on all the edges. Um, that should be it for that layer, looks like it. Um, so I'm going to have these corners here come up all the way up. And uh, then put black glass in between it. We might do something a little different. I don't know yet. Just because I want this to look industrial. Old timey industrial. So I'll mess around with it a little bit. Try to figure out exactly how we want it to look. And then uh, we can start working on the collection system down at the bottom. So guys, unfortunately I thought I was recording. But I guess I was not. Um, and I did finish putting in all the cactus and everything. And I... 
what I was recording, but wasn't really, was putting in these top cactus here. Um, and we put in the iron bars. As you can see, the iron bars, let me get down just a little bit here. The iron bars are one above and to the right or the left, however you look at it, um, of the cactus. And the reason for that is when this cactus grows up, it will be broken by this iron bar. So it's very important that you have these iron bars here. Um, and they do have to be beside it. It can't be in the middle of all four of them. It has to be on one of the sides, north, east, west, or south. Um, so you make sure that you have those in. The reason I use iron bars is because the hitbox on it is just so small that it... Um, I, I got better or... It was almost lossless, really. It was pretty dang close to lossless um, with the iron bars. I did try it with trap or not trap doors, but um, yeah, trap doors. No, not trap doors. What what is that called? Um, fence gates. Yeah, fence gates. Come on, Dylan. Come on. Um, I did try it with fence gates, but I still got better results with the iron bars for some reason. So um, that is what we're going with. But as you can see, we've got all of the cacti, cacti, cactuses, whatever in. Um, and we got all the iron bars and sand in. So what we're doing now is just building up these, uh, edges here with the brick. And I am going two air, air blocks above the iron bar up there, just in case for some reason the cactus gets super frisky. And, uh, look, we got our first drop. There we go. <laughs> uh, in case it gets super frisky and, uh, shoots it all the way up, it'll have room to, um, go go high enough and fall back down without hitting something and then potentially falling back on a cactus so there is the chance that it will fall back on a cactus but it is not quite as likely as the other designs that i did so we are building this up here and we're coming up in the corners and i think i might do some kind of design with this um we kind of want to keep it a little limited um because it is an industrial build so um it's not going to be perfect which I don't want because this is um, an old time industrial build. So, but we might put windows in here or something like that. I I don't know yet. I really don't know. Um, dang, I ran out of ran out of them right there. Um, so we also might need more bricks too. But this is pretty much the size of this cactus farm, which does not take up much of area compared to what we have here so that is great now we are going to put bricks across the whole top here um and i will probably put in some kind of light source in the top just so we don't have mobs spawn on top of this we could use slabs but um i think we're just going to use bricks instead but let me go ahead and get a design going for this after i fill in the roof and I'll kind of show you that design, and then we'll go ahead and do that on all the other three sides. All right, there we go. So that is the design that I'm wanting to go for. As you can tell, it is like the older industrial type of design. The tall windows with the different um, type of stone on the outside of the windows. Then you have the brick, which is obviously broken up because it is old. So we used andesite. Haven't really used, or sorry, not andesite, granite. Haven't really used any granite for any builds. I don't think I've ever really used it, honestly. And I think it looks really good with this. I really do. And then we've got the border across the top because all those older buildings obviously have the border along the top. So you can come up here and do whatever. You know, usually they have like a little thing up at the top here. Um, for like an elevator or stairs. Well, probably not an elevator, but stairs and stuff like that. And I think I'm going to put some light in the top of this. I think I already said that. I'm not sure, but I think we're going to use um, some redstone lamps. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep on going around this building and doing this exact design on all four sides. Um, and then once we get done, it should look a little bit darker in there. And I think these windows will pop out a little better. Um, but yeah, I got a little bit of work ahead of me, so give me just a little bit of time here, and we'll get all the sides done, and then we'll do the collection system, and everything should be good to go. And there we go. Awesome. I got the whole thing done, texturized everything. Um, had to go get more bricks, but as you can see, it is all done, and it's looking pretty cool. It really is. I like it.
we'll definitely have to keep going with this uh this design here so now what we need to do is we need to grab another bucket of water actually if i've got more buckets i need four altogether i believe um it doesn't look like i have any more okay that's fine um so let's go ahead and go in here and we are going to uh, make a water source um, just for the time being um, let's just do it here I guess is fine yes this will change but that is fine it, it's not a big deal um, if that changes or not you're not going to be able to see it and we're going to take some of it out anyway so now that we've got all of the water that we need uh, uh, hence a water source here we go so now we can grab from this and we can put these in the corners. So that is what we need to do. We'll go ahead and build this up for now. And we need to put one here. We need to put one here. We need to put one here. And we need to put one here. So now we can go ahead and fill in this. Get rid of that. And now we're going to break the blocks that are at the water here so we want to break all of these that's weird why it's doing that um, let's just break all of this and then we'll take a look at it I think this design is a little bit smaller than the one I had in my um, creative world here or my test world whatever you would rather call it all right, so now let's go ahead and get rid of all of those blocks. Looks like we got rid of this, so let's get rid of this one, this one, this one. So yeah, you're just taking out the corners here so you, that the water all flows to the center. That is what we're wanting here. Um, take that one and that one. There we go, okay. So now all the water should be flowing to the center right here to this block. So now we can go ahead and get out of here. And we can go down here and put in our chest. So let's get down. I think it's this far down, if I'm not mistaken. We'll see. All right, let's do that. And then we'll just make a way out of this for now. It's not a big deal. There we go. Um, so we're going to need a hopper actually we're going to need a few hoppers and we're going to need a chest so for now i'm probably just going to do a, a very easy storage um nothing too crazy because um eventually we're going to have an area that we can put all of this storage in um kind of like a mass storage so we'll have a hopper there and that will face down we shouldn't have to get back in here so if we can seal that up um and then we can there's the hopper right there perfect all right so we need to dig down one more block just so we can place these hoppers in because they're going to go into that chest so let's build us another staircase here and the chest for now can just go right here that's fine we'll put it actually um no it needs to be down one more block i believe Yes, yeah, so let's put it here-ish. Is that right? Um, no, we need a good gracious. Come on, Dylan. We need to put it here. Yeah, so it's it's gonna be a little low, but that is fine. Um, it's just how we had the water and what level we built this on. So that will be fine for now. Like I said, this is just a temporary storage setup for the uh, cactus farm. All right, so we got that in there. Now we can fill this in so no mobs can spawn down here. I do have to put lights on the top of our um, our build here, but that is fine. Well, I'm not worried about that at the moment. So there we go, and we'll do that. And is that going to mess something up? No, it didn't. Okay. We'll just do this for now just to make it look a little better. Um, yeah. That's fine right there. So now all of our stuff will go into here. As you can see, it's already flowing in. So that is 
pretty much the build there guys that that's that's it that really is it that's it's not that hard honestly the outside design took me three four times maybe even like five or six times longer than it took to uh do the actual actual cactus farm now that depends on how high you want to put it but um i I didn't do mine too high, but I did mine, you know, a significant portion. So, nothing too crazy. But that is it. That is the design fully done there. And I'm loving it. I think it looks really good. And as you can see, this does not take up hardly any space from our industrial district. It's just one little corner here. I'm hoping that this whole place will be um, designs like this. Different size buildings, different heights, different widths, stuff like that. Um, but as we fly around here, you can see that the whole thing is done. And that's pretty much it, guys. I'm, I've got to get this episode out, so i got to start rendering it fairly, fairly soon. As soon as I get done with this, I'm going to start editing. Um, so that's about as much time as we're going to have today for um, our episode. Like I said, I apologize. I just I have to... Why aren't we off-center in the bed? That's really weird. Um Anyway, but uh, that's pretty much all the time I have, and um, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please just hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell so you get notified when I put out another video. That's going to do it, guys, and I hope to see you in the next episode. This has been Dylan Ryan, and I am out.